welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for um, stopping by to talk about makeup with me today. So for today, I want to do um, kind of like a combo review slash get ready with me. Um, I have this palette. It's pretty new to me. I've only used it once. This is the Teddy Girl palette from Better London. And I want to like do kind of a get ready with me um, with this palette and kind of give you my thoughts about it and also kind of just, you know, chat about, you know, some things that have been on my mind. That's what I'm planning to do today. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing, obviously, I'm gonna put my hair back and I'm just gonna tight line with my H&M Color Essence Eye Pencil, my eyes. So I'm really frustrated today because I wanted to get my eyebrows threaded. And there is one place in my town where you can get your eyebrows threaded. And I've tried, if you've never gotten your eyebrows threaded, it's like probably like the best thing, the best life experience you could ever have. I'm pretty sure. It's just like your eyebrows look so good after you get them threaded. And I've been to this place before. They're really good. They do a great job, but I haven't had time to go in a long time. So it's probably been like about a year or maybe a little bit more since I've gotten my eyebrows done. And I tried to go there like a month ago and I checked the hours online and they were, it said they were open and then I got there and they were closed, which was very frustrating. Okay, so I'm sorry I couldn't, um, I couldn't talk and line at the same time. So I went to the, I tried to go to this, I went to this place like a month ago. They said they were open. I'm just priming with my e.l.f. poreless putty primer. They said that they were open at this time and then I got there and they were closed. And I was like, okay, that's a little strange, but it was during the summer and in my town, a lot of places have different hours during the summer. So I thought like, okay, maybe they've got summer hours. You know, I don't know what's going on. I'll just come back, you know, when I can. So I tried to go yesterday to, to um, get my eyebrows done. And I kind of forgot that there was a home football game. So I live in a, a college town. And when there's a home football game, like everything shuts down. Like the whole, you just, you just can't really get into town. There's so much traffic. It's just, it's crazy. So I, I went down, I went downtown to do this and I'm like, oh, I forgot there was a game and there was just no place to park. So I'm like, well, that, that's not going to work. I'll do it tomorrow, which is today when I'm filming. And so today I, I get up early, I go down there, I'm, you know, there when it's supposed to open and it's closed. So I am done with this place, I have decided, because they are never open when they say they're going to be open. And I don't know, I, I can't tell, like maybe they, they closed permanently, I don't know what the deal is. Yes, I don't know what's going on with this place. I'm just going to start doing my foundation now and I'm going to use the 4-in-1 Pure Love Your Selfie mixed with the CoverGirl um, Healthy, what is this called? Vitalist Healthy Elixir. So I'm just gonna mix um, these two together on my Real Technique sponge and we'll just go from there. See, I don't know what's going on with this place and there are no, I tried to find if there are other like threading places near me and I couldn't find any, so I'm kind of frustrated, but I made an appointment to get my eyebrows waxed somewhere else. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. And I don't like waxing as much as threading, but I just want, I just want like somebody to like do something with my eyebrows because I'm very frustrated with them. I, I always feel like they just, they just don't, they're not living up to their full potential. That's the situation. They're just not living up to their full potential. So that was my morning. And of course, yesterday morning, my cat, my, you, you guys have met her. She's in the videos. My cat woke me up at about 4.30 which was fun. Normally she doesn't wake me up until like about five. You know, usually she's pretty good. She's a really uh, considerate cat. So my roommate just informed me that my cat is not in fact a considerate cat, <laughs> but I think she's considerate as cats go because you know, cat, cats do their own thing. But yesterday, like, so um, I normally feed her for context. I feed her at like five every day. And on the weekends, you know, she'll just come and wake me up at five and I'll get up and feed her and then go right back to sleep. Yesterday, she woke me up at 4.30 and she would just not stop like meowing at me. It's like, you know, I know that you know that it's not your breakfast time. You're, you're just being contrary. You're just being difficult. So, and then of course, as soon as like, you know, I'm ready to get up at like, you know, 
8 or 8.30 or whenever I got up, she just comes and lays on my neck so that I can't, I can't get out of bed. Um, so that was fun, but it's better than like, so a couple of weeks ago she was doing this thing where um, she would just come and scratch at the books on my nightstand, which was not great for, for, obvi for obvious reasons. So now I've had to move all, all of everything off my nightstand basically because of her, because she just wants to destroy anything that's on my nightstand. Um, so yeah, that's setting a cat, I guess. I'm just putting a little more of that, that pure foundation on. Everybody on YouTube has been raving about this foundation. I like it. I just don't think it's as great as everyone says. It's very full coverage, which I guess if you, if you like that sort of thing, I mean, that's perfect for you. Um, I tend to not always love full coverage foundations. It just, it just feels a little like mask-like on the skin, if you know what I mean. But it is very long lasting. So, you know, if you're looking for something very full coverage, very long lasting, you would probably enjoy this a lot. Okay, so um, my foundation's done now. So I'm gonna start working on the eyes. And like I said, this is the palette I kind of want to give like a mini review on. I've only used it once before. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to prime with the uh, MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I'm just gonna set that with an eyeshadow that's um, close to my skin tone. So now I'm gonna go into this palette. This is the Butter London Teddy Girl palette. It just came out pretty recently. I have a lot of Butter London nail polish, but I didn't really know that they did makeup. So I think this is um, the first Butter London makeup product I'm trying out. So palette looks like. It's got these, it's got these little doors so it opens kind of like this. Um, it has a little mirror here as you can see. I'll try to cover that. I just thought it was really cute and I haven't seen anybody really talking about this online but I wanted to try it out. Um, I've tried it once already. I thought it was perfectly fine though I haven't really used all the colors yet or anything. Um, so to start I'm gonna blend the shade Pippa into my crease. Got my, my ColourPop E2 brush, which I think is a good crease brush. So who's looking forward to the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty? I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. There's a couple things I want to pick up. Not that many though. I feel like in previous years, it's been better, you know? I think every year it seems to be, you know, the, the selection is a little less um, good. <laughs> For lack of a better word, I, I feel like they're, they're, they kind of pick some random products to put on sale. Um, but you know, occasionally there's something that's really good that goes on sale. I think there are like two or three things I'm going to pick up this year. I want to get um, the Ofra highlighters are on sale. I think I'm going to pick up one of those. Bare Mineral concealers are on sale. I want to try those out. There was another thing. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, and the, the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is on sale, so I want to pick up that because I do use that and it's kind of expensive. It's Well, it is expensive. It's like $27, which is a lot for a concealer, but I think it's really good. Okay, so I just kind of blended that really lightly and kind of, you know, really lightly and kind of like blown out all over my crease. Um, so now I'm going to use, I'm going to grab my um, pointed crease brush. This is a Morphe brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Matilda and I'm going to concentrate that really, really into my crease. So, so far I think these shadows are, are performing really well. I think they, they blend pretty nicely. They, they're um, pigmented, but not too pigmented. Like you can build up the color, which I, I personally like you know i think it's you know sometimes if you get a shadow that's really pigmented right away it's, it's kind of tough to work with um so it's probably my preference to do something that is not as pigmented but you can you can kind of build it up um, so you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you're going to get anything from the ulta 21 days of beauty sale you know to each to each their own i, I think the selection is not great this year but you'll have to let me know what you think so speaking of shopping I have recently discovered that you can buy plants online. And this is a very dangerous thing for me because I have a lot of, of um, house plants and I don't need any more. Um, but if you can buy exotic house plants online, like I don't know why I wouldn't do it, you know? <laughs> 
well, you know, I know why I wouldn't do it, but I, I'm, I'm gonna do it. So what shade do I think I should use on the, the lid? I think I'm gonna try, let's see, that's iris on my hand. I don't know if you can see it. Let's, let's do Lottie. Lottie looks pretty. That's Lottie right there. It's kind of a metallic red, coppery, you know, shade. One of those, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I just dipped into it with my finger and I'm just gonna, going to apply it on the lid. So yeah, I have to exercise like great restraint not to buy every plant that's, that's on the internet at the moment. I've decided I'm going to get a banana plant. You know, I live in Pennsylvania, right? You can't have banana plants outside in the winter. So I'm gonna get one. They have one that's like, it's a dwarf banana plant and it you can keep it inside as long as you have enough sun and it will grow bananas. And I don't like bananas, um, but I just think it'd be, it'd be a fun thing to have, right? I don't know, I don't know if I like this, this shade bloody actually, um, but we're committed now. So let's keep going with it. So anyway, I also want to get a lemon tree, but I think I would keep that inside as well. I can get, um, one can buy a dwarf Meyer lemon tree. So I think I could keep that inside and it would, it would grow lemons and everything would be lovely. And I also want to get a monkey puzzle tree. That is supposed to be, that's supposed to be grown outside, but I think maybe I could keep it like I could just keep it little and that would be fun. Um, cause it's definitely too, um, too cold here, um, to grow monkey puzzle trees outside. If you don't know, they're like this really cool, like prehistoric kind of tree. They look kind of like pine trees, but a little bit different. You should, you should Google it. If you've never seen a monkey puzzle tree, they look really cool. So I think I'm actually going to tap a little bit of the shade Lucille over top of, um, Lottie because I don't, I don't really like how that looks. It's not really the, the vibe I was going for. Oh, this is very, this is a nice, very, um, very soft shimmer. I like it. Yeah, that seems a little more toned down. Okay, so I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, so you have to let me know in the comments if you want, I can do a houseplant tour. I don't have all of my, you know, exotic banana trees and stuff like that yet, but I have like, I think I counted, I have like 40 house plants, something like that. I mean, a lot of them are really small and they're in the same pot. Not all of them are even here. Some of them are in my, my office at work. Um, so I could do a house plant tour if you guys are at all interested. I'm just using a Morphe pencil brush. I'm just kind of um, putting this towards the center of my eye and I'm gonna put a darker corner on the outside corner and just blend. So now I'm gonna take the shade Beatrice and go in the outside corner. Are any of you guys watching any like really good um, TV shows this fall? Cause I kind of feel like there's, there's nothing good on to me, it seems. And I know that that can't be true. That's just has to be my, my perception, but um, I'm kind of looking, looking for something really, really good to watch. And I, I just don't know, like nothing is um, grabbing my attention recently. It all seems kind of, I don't know. It seems every, every show that I've seen recently just seems kind of um, silly to me. So you have to let me know if you, if you can think of any um, really good shows to watch. I, I think this the second season of um, like the new Sabrina the Teenage Witch reboot. I think that already came out, right? Yeah, it already came out. So I have to watch that. I liked that show okay. You guys have to, you know, let, okay, let me know in the comments what you thought of that show. I, I liked it. I didn't think it was fantastic, but I should watch the, I should watch the second season of that. I saw that like, okay, I don't know which network is doing this, but some network is putting out a show about Emily Dickinson. And it just looks, you know, no shade if you're if you're excited about this, but it just looks really stupid to me, to be honest. I, I don't know, they they make these, this really bothers me. When, when networks make these like, you know, historical drama, historical fiction shows, and they just don't, but they, they just try to make everybody talk and behave and like make choices as if they were living in the 21st century. I don't know why they, why they do that. If you want to make shows where people, you know, behave like they're living in the 21st century, just make a show in the 20, set in the 21st century. I find it to be really frustrating. So I'm not going to watch that. That looks dumb to me. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure some people will enjoy it, but it, it's, it's not for me. I'm going to grab a little bit of the shade Penelope and pack it in the outer corner. But again, I'm still using that same pencil brush. What other shows are going on? I don't even know. 
I'm not, as, as you can tell, I'm not really plugged in to like popular culture. Um, so now I'm just gonna grab my, my IT Cosmetics Blending Brush and just kind of blend all of that together. So I think just to finish up the eye look, I'm just gonna grab a little of the shade Poppy and just kind of put it um, on, like on my brow bone. So I think this is the eye look we ended up with. I don't know, I think I like it. I think I like this palette. It's $28. I don't know if it's worth $28. Oh, hi. My cat just popped up. I guess she heard me talking about her earlier. I don't think you can see her, but she's here sitting on my knee. She needs to go to the vet soon, so you know, don't tell her that. She needs a rabies shot. So this is the thing about cats. Like they always come and like jump on you when you don't necessarily want them. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it quits with the eye look because I think this is, this is the look we're, we're, we're getting to. I do like this palette. I think it blends really well. I'm just con um, putting on some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer here. I don't know if this palette's worth $28. Um, I think you could get a ColourPop palette, you know, grab one of their more warm toned neutral palettes, you know, maybe their, their Fortune palette, their Yes Please palette, and you could get um, a very similar kind of experience. I do think that this formula is more blendable than the ColourPop formula, but I don't I don't know if it's if it's really worth that much extra money. You know what I mean? So the summer, like it seems to me that the summer just really sped by. I feel like it was just, you know, just yesterday that we were like in June and all of a sudden we're in September and like I don't <laughs> I don't know where now I have to start thinking about like the holidays and like, you know, um cold weather. And I'm just like not not ready for that at all. I am looking forward to being able to wear sweaters though because I love to wear sweaters and I, I have so many just like fun sweaters that I like to wear so I'm just like looking forward to getting out all my sweaters and it's so like I feel like styling sweaters is so so easy like you can just have a, a sweater you can put like a scarf you can you can just put together an outfit so easily. Okay so next I'm gonna powder with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. So the other thing about fall, I know everyone gets really excited about the um, pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I don't really care about that. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. It seems like everybody, you know, around me, I just hear about it like all the time. And I thought people were kind of over it, but I guess not. I mean, to be honest, I don't really like, I like, you know, pumpkin pie and, you know, stuff like that, but pumpkin spice like flavored things, I tend not to like that much. So I don't know if that makes me weird. I'm just powdering my whole face, you know, just to make sure my makeup lasts, you know, all day. And I'm using my um, Love is the Foundation brush. It's a foundation brush, but I actually um, quite like it for powder too. So I forgot to do my contour, but I think I'll just skip it today. Like I don't always contour. I think sometimes because I, I'm so pale, to be honest, sometimes it looks a little much on me, so I just do kind of a blush contour, which means I just kind of carve out my cheekbones with, with blush. Um, I feel like that works a little better because I'm, I'm so pale. Before I do that, I'm just going to go and do um, my lower lash line, and I'm just going to use that shade Matilda that I was using earlier. I'm just not ready for it to be full yet. I, you know, summer was too quick. Although I am looking forward to Christmas because I'm going to um, travel and visit my mom's family, which will be fun because, and also because I'm taking like, you know, two weeks off from work and that, that'll, you know, that's always nice. Have a nice long break. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> that was definitely too much. And so I guess it's just going to be a really um, smoky look today because that was too much. I'm going to use that shade Lottie in the inner part here and I'm just going to use a little concealer brush. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into my Solstice or Sleek Solstice Highlight Palette. I'm going to use this shade here just to like add a little highlight to the inner corners. That's a little too bright. It's a little brighter than I wanted. Let me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab the eyeshadow palette again and go into the shade Lucille and use that. That was a little smokier than I intended, but I feel like this is a good, um, you know, just kind of everyday fall look. I don't think it's too bright that you couldn't 
wear it to school or to work or something. And, you know, it's very fall. You could wear it to the office. Um, maybe if you guys are interested, I'll do a look in the future, like how I do my makeup to go to the office, because I definitely do very, very like scaled back, you know, um, very neutral makeup to go to the office. And I know um, a lot of people here on YouTube really focus on doing really, you know, colorful and creative looks, but you know, but for me, a lot of those looks aren't really practical for everyday life. So I, I feel like maybe, you know, I, I could show you what I consider to be my, you know, everyday practical, you know, realistic makeup look. I'm gonna go back into this sleek palette to highlight and I'm gonna use this orangey shade. I don't know what these shades, I think these shades have names. I don't know what they're called. The names are not on the palette. And I'm grabbing my Real Techniques um, setting brush for that. Just kind of buffing that into my cheekbones. So the other nice thing about fall, I think, is that it's better weather to do baking. Because I know I didn't want to bake anything all summer because it was so hot. Um, but now I feel like it's September. I can do pumpkin bread. I can do pumpkin pie. I can do, there's this really, there's this chocolate chip cookie recipe I want to try. It's like double stuffed chocolate chip cookies where it's like chocolate chip cookie and then it has chocolate chip cookie dough inside, but it's kind of gooey. And one of my friends made them like a couple months ago and I just like could not get enough of them they were fantastic so maybe maybe i'll make those um i could maybe do like a baking video or something that that might not be good actually that i mean i i am not <laughs> i am not a very good baker and i'm just gonna highlight my nose now so uh, yeah I, I like baking but i'm not like i'm, I'm pre pretty inept at all things related to cooking or baking or whatever um, so I've got my Too Faced Love Flush Blush, Love Flush Blush, I guess that's what it's called, in the shade Baby Love, and I'm just going to pop it on with my Wet n Wild Blush Brush. So I'm just popping this onto the apples of my cheeks. The other thing that I think I'm really going to get into this fall is crocheting a bunch of scarves. So in case you didn't know, I don't think I've mentioned it, I really like to crochet. Um, but I found it kind of tough to crochet in summer because um, it's warm and you're covering yourself with like piles of yarn. <laughs> and it's kind of a warm, a warm um, hobby to do. So it's better in cold weather. So this year I think I want, I have all this yarn that I've bought it's like, oh, I'm going to make a scarf out of this. I'm going to make a scarf out of this. I think I actually have to start making the scarves. I've said I'm going to make so because I'm doing a blush contour, I'm just kind of sweeping it back further towards my, my hairline to kind of like create that like look like my cheekbones are a little more defined. Okay, so now I'm going to pop on some mascara. I have the, um, I have a sample of the MAC False Lashes Mascara. I think sample mascaras are really good because like you can actually use them up before they dry out. Oh, I got some of that on my lid. Oops. So speaking of fall and like plants and stuff, I, so I mentioned a little while ago that I'm going to grow, um, I want to get a kumquat tree. So I want to get a kumquat tree, but I'm also trying to grow a kumquat tree from seeds. And I don't know if it's going well, um, because the seeds haven't done anything yet. I read online that you're supposed to plant them in sand, like a mixture of like dirt and sand with like sand on top. So that's what I'm trying to do, but they haven't done anything yet. And it's been like 10 days. So I, I just, I just don't know. I don't know if they're going to do anything. We'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. But even if I did grow a kumquat tree from seed, it would take probably years for it to be big enough to, to bear fruit. So I might just buy a kumquat tree too. Because if you can ship them to yourself, you know, why wouldn't you do that? Okay, so I think I'm gonna pop off camera to um, do my eyebrows because I really struggle to do those on camera and to maybe put on a little bit of liner to tight line my lashes. And then I'll come back to finish off the video and show you the final look. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I think, I mean, all things considered, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the eye look isn't exactly what I wanted, but I, it's, it's grown on me. Um, now that it's, it's, it's done and I finished up my face. Um, so final verdict on this palette, I think it's pretty good. I don't know if 
if you have to like run out and buy it right now, I think it'd be really good for beginners if you really want some shadows that are really easy to work with and you just want to do like warm neutral looks. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it for today. Um, thanks for stopping by my channel and um, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye.